the Vivitar 615DVR. Here we go. So I was looking for something else, then I came across the Vivitar 615D VR. Brand new, in its box, never used. So I took the wrapping off, and here she is. We may as well use it, I obviously bought it for some reason some time ago to use, and just, well, never used it. So, the first thing I found peculiar about it, is it takes batteries. And a bit of back history, I skipped on a bit there. So back in 2011, Vivitar launched the HD quality Vivitar DVR 615 HD. And look at this. It's got a selfie screen. Before selfies were selfies. How cool is that? So this would be great for like, basically what I'm doing now. You've got a screen, you can see what you're doing. It's a pretty advanced really at the time. I had a few cameras from that period and I don't recall one of them ever having a rotating screen. So, let's put some batteries in it and see if it works and let's see how the quality compares today and if this is still a good option because you can still buy it. I'll tell you where. So I put some batteries in and I found a memory card. I'm not sure what size memory card it takes up to. Uh, go on the top. Ooh, Vivitar, we make it easy. Welcome. Please select your language. English. Ooh, set. Continue with camera setup. Yes, please set time and hour. Boom. Oh, right, it's on. Ooh, <laughs> this is cool. Right, let's try and film something. Where's um the record? So, we might be recording now. We are recording. Ah, oh, cool. Right, so, it's really, really offset <laughs> to where you think it is. It's like there. And I'm not sure what kind of arm you have to have to get this selfie cam to work. But you need quite a long arm. <laughs> but it is working. Hi, everybody. This is pretty cool. So I'm not sure what the quality is like. There's me. Hello. My little setup. But it is working. This thing runs on batteries, by the way. That's how old it is. Remember when things had batteries? Like, I mean, like, battery batteries, not like a rechargeable USB jobby. Oh, mm, cool. So this is indoors. Let's try a bit of outdoor action and see how much difference there is. So we're now outside in the garden. Bit of a dull day today, but nevertheless, I'm glad it still works. I wish I kind of wish I used it more when I first bought it. You do need a hell of a reach. <laughs> That's my full arm. It's like my normal camera's like this. It's full arm. It's cool though. Oh my gosh. So we've been filming now for probably a com combined minute and the battery's gone to half. And these are brand new double A batteries put in there as well. So it likes to eat the batteries. So there's some sample footage from the little device. Um, what do you think? <laughs> it's not bad. You can't remember this was a hell of a long time ago when this kind of stuff was going on. Look at this. USB built in. Now picture this that charged it doesn't this one doesn't charge it runs on these batteries but picture this if it charged and had the screen and the camera was better this would be quite a cool little device wouldn't it this is kind of just what i'm using now but it's smaller so if you're hiring quite and where you can still get one of these from they sell them second hand on ebay but the cheapest place i've seen one was for 15 pounds and that was at cash converters. I won't be selling mine for £15. I like to keep cameras 
and it's really good. And it's actually running on quite a big SD card, 32 gig. That's the smallest one I had my hands on. But there we go. Well, that was a bit of fun for the afternoon. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Bye. I am in a rather fun mood today. Let's just have a little bit of fun. Fancy yourself as a bit of a video blogger? So let's see how it's done. Here we go. So today we're looking at what you can use to make video and use look <laughs> today we're going to look at the Lumix setup I use. So it's on an Adora pole, as you can see. And there's the camera itself. It's a compact system camera. Very nice. It's got this tripod actually, it's really really good. I'll, uh, I'll have to do a video on that. What I like about it is its height, the height's really high. Where my old tripod was like really really small and you couldn't really see what you were doing. So, that's a look at a vlogging setup. Hope you've enjoyed, we'll see you soon. Bye!